بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید عاقف شاہ لیکچرر انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بزنس اسٹڈیز ٹرسٹ دا ٹائٹل آف دس کورس از بزنس فائنانس اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ آف دس سبجیکٹ از ون ہنڈریڈ ففٹی ون دس از فسٹ آن لائن ریکارڈیڈ لیکچر ہیو ور اکارڈنگ ٹو دا کے سی ایم ایس ریکارڈ دس از لیکچر نمبر نائن اور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک فار ڈسکشن ول بی انٹرسٹ ریٹ رسک اینڈ دا ٹائم ویلیو آف منی Dear student, after listening and studying to this lecture, you should be able to understand four learning outcomes. Now, what are those? Number first, understand what is meant by interest rate. This will be our first learning outcome. Number two, understand the difference between simple interest rate and a compound interest rate. Third, understand what is meant by time value of money last but not the least understand present and future value phenomena time value of money in order to understand the topic which is time value of money we need to understand four basic points number one what is interest rate it is really important to understand the time value of money concept now there are two types of interest rate one is known as simple interest rate and the other one which is most commonly used is known as a common interest rate by banking institution and different credit agencies fourth one compounding more than once per year so we'll shortly discuss these point one by one In order to understand the time value of money concept, we'll start with an example available in this yellow box. A question is written that which would you prefer, ten thousand dollar today, or ten thousand dollar in five years? So, dear student, you have to keep in your mind that uh, when there is a word written you, it means that uh, you are working. in a particular corporation or an organization and you are required to do certain investment opportunities uh, you are required to do certain investment uh, in different opportunities available into the market so by you means a finance manager since this course is related with business finance so a financial manager in a particular company needs to consider such kind of situations So, which would you prefer, ten thousand dollar today or ten thousand dollar in five years? Dear student, one thing you need to be, uh, uh, you need to bear in your mind is that we have opted a particular currency unit in this case, which is dollar. And this, in most of the time in this book, dollar currency is used. So we'll understand the scenario in this denomination. So the obvious answer is ten thousand dollar today worth more than the five years later ten thousand dollars. So you already recognize that there is time value to a money. Like somebody is offering you that would you opt for ten thousand dollar today in two thousand twenty, or you would like to opt for the ten thousand dollar after five years, which is two thousand and twenty five. So definitely, as a layman approach, people will opt ten thousand dollar today because it has a particular worth in today's time, and this is the main phenomena which we will be discussed in this chapter, which is time value of money or time to time value to the money. Why time is important? The question is written: Why is time such an important element in your decision? because the time allows you the opportunity to postpone current consumption and earn interest so when you are going for investment opportunity what you actually are doing you are postponing your current consumption in order to increase your accumulated amount like you have invested 10000 dollar in a bank account in order to earn interest because in the current prevailing situation you might not be in the need of 
these ten thousand dollar so therefore you have opted to invest these ten thousand dollars in a bank account which will provide you certain amount as interest as a percentage to your principal amount invested so after the completion of one year time period this interest rate shall be provided or credited to your account and after one two three four and five years of time period the bank is supposed to pay you not ten thousand dollar but the ten thousand dollar plus the interest which has already been credited into your account so what is the fruit or benefit of investment you have postponed your current consumption and your final at the end of fifth year your accumulated amount increased because the bank has done certain business activities on your invested amount and the bank might have earned certain amount on your principal so therefore the reward has been distributed to those who have contributed capital into that investment opportunity now there are two types of interest rate one is known as simple interest rate and the other one is known as compound interest rate which you will see shortly what is simple interest rate simple interest rate means interest paid on only the original amount or principal for example you have invested ten thousand dollar in a bank account 10k means ten thousand dollar in a bank account and the bank agrees to pay you 10 percent interest annually if the bank agreed to pay you 10 percent interest simple interest annually you are going to receive one thousand dollars at the end of each year by the end of second year once again you are going to be paid with ten thousand dollar if the interest it pay is paid on the original amount the original amount invested in this case is ten thousand dollar then such kind of situation is known as simple interest rate scenario what is compound interest rate let's read out this definition and then make an example interest paid on any previous interest earned as well as on the principal amount borrowed or lent is known as compound interest rate interest rate now let's take an example previous example if this is a compound interest rate case the situation might look like a bank agrees to pay you 10 percent compound interest rate by the end of first year you are going to receive one thousand dollar at the start of the second year you already had ten thousand dollar in your bank account and suppose if you have not withdrawn this profit or interest from your bank account this will be added into your principal amount which will make this principal or initial amount to eleven thousand dollars so if this is the scenario once again after one year bank is required to pay you 10 percent interest on the principal amount as well as this previous interest which they have already credited into your account so now the bank is supposed to pay you 10 percent on 11,000 which will come up with 1100 dollar as interest payment by the end of second year if this is the case or this is the situation it is known as compound interest rate and similarly in the third year once again your initial balance will be ten thousand dollar plus one thousand eleven thousand dollar in the next year twelve thousand and one hundred dollar will be your initial balance and on this balance the bank will be required to pay you 10% interest rate so if this type of situation goes on it is known as compound interest rate scenario which is usually carried out in our different 
banking organization if you have invested your amount in any bank the bank normally pays you compound interest rate so let's see the formula how we will calculate simple interest rate the formula for calculating simple interest rate is SI which is which denotes simple interest rate is equal to P0 multiply by I multiply by N now what is P0 the deposit today T0 it means that for example in 2020 you have deposit your amount $10,000 so the P0 will be the current time period I will be the interest rate per period usually this uh, this rate is uh, yearly basis or per annum basis provided to you so this is the yearly basis rate and n is the number of time period you are going to leave your money into a bank account or for the number of years you want to calculate simple interest rate so let's take an example over here that assume that you have deposit one thousand dollar in a in an account earning seven percent simple interest rate for two years so now the question is what is the accumulated interest at the end of second year remember students the question is asking you to calculate simple interest rate so the formula for simple interest rate is this one si is equal to p naught i n n in our this question the simple interest rate is equal to p naught p naught your today's deposit which is one thousand dollar in in the given case i means that this account is going to provide you seven percent simple interest rate so you need to plug this seven percent over here as percentage sign is mentioned with seven so you need to remove this percentage sign by dividing it to 100 so after dividing into 100 this percentage sign removed and then you are come up with 0 point, uh, point 0.07 and you are required to calculate two years of simple interest rate so simply plug this two in the formula n position by simple mathematics you are you come up with 140 dollar simple interest rate for two years let's remove these things we are given with another situation what is the future value of the deposit the future value formula is your initial amount plus the simple interest rate what you have earned on that investment opportunity so you have invested one thousand dollar in that account for two years and you have earned one hundred and forty dollars for two years time period therefore for example if we have invested this amount in 2020 so at the end of 2021 year and then 2021 the next years two years so at the end of 2021 which will be december 31st 2001 your 1000 has been increased to 1140 dollars so the present value what you have invested in that particular bank account was 100 1000 dollars and the future value after two years become 1140 so in this chapter dear student we are going to learn what is present value and future value with the help of simple interest and as well as compound interest formula future value is the value at some future time of a present amount of money or series of payments evaluated at a given interest rate what is the present value of the previous problem now taking all the previous problem data 
we are required to calculate the present value. But it has already been clear that the present value is simply that $1,000 you originally deposit, deposited into that account. So therefore currently the amount available in your pocket is known as present value and after one year or two year of time period when the simple or a compound interest has been credited to your account it come up with the future value. A present value is the current value of a future amount of money or a series of payment evaluated at a given interest rate. So why compounding interest rate? With the help of a diagram, we are going to explain that what is the impact of a compound interest rate as compared to a simple interest rate. See a student, the yellow box 10% interest rate and the time period available is from 1 year to 30th year. So let's suppose you have invested a particular amount which is $1000 you have deposited in a particular account and at the end of first year usually all this 7% 10% and simple interest rate compound interest rate and then 10% compound interest rate is available. So you can see the compounding impact later on in the coming years that with the 10% compounding after 10th year see this histogram it is explaining that if your compound interest rate is 10% simple interest rate is 10% but you can see the difference that yellow histogram is quite below than the red one it means that compound interest rate usually provides you the maximum benefit while you are investing your money into a bank account. At the end of 20th year see the difference where the yellow box is histogram is and where the red histogram is. And similarly at the end of 30th year you can see the impact that in the compound interest rate case this histogram is quite larger than the yellow one. So therefore we can conclude that if one bank is offering you 10% simple interest rate, if you are going to invest your $1,000 in that big bank account and another opportunity is available with the second bank which is providing you 10% compound interest rate, if you are going to invest this $1,000 in that bank, so bank number 1 and bank number 2, so 2 provides you 10% compound interest rate and bank number one provides you with 10% simple interest rate. So dear student, our decision will be to consider the 10% compound interest rate and we are going to invest our $1,000 in bank two because in the later on, later years, this accumulation in compounding results in a larger number of dollars earned than the simple interest rate. I hope you understand the simple and compound interest rate difference now and in the next lecture we will discuss how to calculate present and future value by using simple and compound interest rate and if the frequency of compounding is greater than once per year. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. If you have any question feel free to post on KCMS and I will provide you answer. Allah Hafiz.